Good morning. Tonight is Hanukkah, the beginning of the festival of Hanukkah. And I always think of Hanukkah as being an amazing opportunity for teaching moments. It's a great chance. I mean, when else do you have an opportunity to sit around with people in your household or friends? This year, okay, it's a little different, but we could do it on Zoom because it's not Shabbat. And you gather people together and you celebrate and you light the candles and you eat good food. But don't miss the opportunity to use the nights of Hanukkah as teaching moments. It's so rare that we have a chance to really learn and educate and, and teach. We should use these moments, bribe the people in our family to come to the Hanukkah party on the Zoom or whatever with good food or with, you know, maybe some other l'chaims or whatever you need to bring them to come. But once they're there, take, it up, take an opportunity to teach them. I like to use each night to teach a lesson. So for example, one of the things that I like to teach on Hanukkah is the Jewish people, our whole existence is miraculous. It's not just the Hanukkah story that was a miracle. That was a huge miracle, yes. Here we were under the under the domination of the Syrian Greeks and they outlawed our Torah learning and they outlawed our observance of mitzvot and they tried to get us to assimilate and to become like them and to disappear into history and a small group of yeshiva students get together and fight off the world super world world superpower at the time it was an amazing story completely miraculous i mean imagine if like i got together with some of my buddies from yeshiva who studied in, in together in yeshiva and we fought the iranian empire i mean it's insane right but that's what happened it was a miracle but all of judaism the entire Jewish people are one huge miracle. It wasn't just the Greeks. It was the Babylonians and the Romans and the Crusaders and every other nation and group of people that tried to destroy us and eliminate us. And here we are. Where are, where are the Greeks? Where are the Romans? Where are the Babylonians? They're gone. Now, does anyone have a Babylonian dentist? Anyone have a, uh, a Roman accountant? They're gone. They've faded away into history. And the Jewish people are, st are still here because we are a living miracle. And you could ask questions. Why do you think that we have survived for so many years, thousands of years, when the whole world has wanted to destroy us? What's the secret of our existence? What's the secret of our continuation? There's a famous quote over here. I'm going to read this to you because it's so beautiful. If you haven't heard this, this is from Mark Twain. If statistics are right, the Jews constitute but one quarter of one percent of the human race. It suggests a nebulous puff of a stardust lost in the blaze of the Milky Way. And he goes on and says that we never really should have even been heard of. And he says that the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Persians, they rose, they filled the planet with sound and splendor and faded into dream stuff and passed away. Other people have sprung up for a while, held their torch high for some time and burned out. And they sit in twilight now and have vanished. The Jews, we saw them all, we survived them all, and now we are what we always have been. I'm paraphrasing. We exhibit no signs of decadence, no infirmities of age, no weakening of, well, no weakening of his parts, no slowing of his energies, no dulling of his alert and aggressive mind. All things are mortal but the Jew. All their forces pass, but he remains. What is the secret of his immortality, wonders Mark Twain in an article he wrote in 1897. What is the secret of our immortality? Bring it up at your Zoom candle lighting tomorrow night or your family candle lighting or wherever you are. Bring it up. And if you have, by the way, if you don't have anyone to be with tomorrow night, even on Zoom, let me know. You can Zoom into our family uh, uh, Hanukkah celebration. Okay. Wonderful, and think about it. We'll talk more. I'll give you some more ideas to discuss as we move on.